Hello my friends, welcome to the channel, welcome my uh, fellow gamers. In this video I will uh, show you how to fix the VGAM bus uh, not installed in DS4 Windows application. So this notorious, I would say, application that allows to uh, use your PlayStation controllers on your computer. Absolutely fantastic application, just have to say it, it's really really awesome. So guys, now not to take your time, how to actually fix this error, it's actually very simple. So as you probably uh, remember, the first time you launch the application, you will have a certain pop-up where, where you will have to install certain drivers for this application and after that restart your computer. So you just simply need to go to that same interface, the intro interface with all those things. So it's going to be uh, this uh, controller slash driver setup in the settings tab. Go ahead into here. And guys, as you can see, we have the first, the very, very first option, install VGM bus driver. So the problem is, if you installed the application, but it's it still says that it's not installed. For me, it says not installed as well, but it's installed, all right. So what you have to do is you go into the control panel in Windows, uninstall this driver uh, completely, along with any other drivers that you have installed. For example, in my case, I have the VGAM bus driver, which, which is like necessary without it, the, the application will not work. And I have the hit hide driver as well. It's, it's just optional. It fixes some of the issues. It's not necessary, but I just have it. So you uninstall this driver from the control pan panel where you, have your, where you have your different apps installed. Restart your computer. Go into here, into the settings. Go to controller slash driver setup. Click on install VGM bus driver. It's going to download it, install it, restart your computer again, and then see if it fixes the issue. And it, indeed it should, because the same thing happened to me. And as you can see, I'm still using the app. It works perfectly. I can actually show you and reach, reach out to my controller so that you can see that it works. Give it a second. It's going to connect. Let's press start. As you can see, the controller works. Everything's fine. Been using this app for years. So hopefully this helps you out, guys. It's very easy to fix. If you enjoyed the video, press thumbs up, subscribe. See you in the next tutorial, guys.